with that being said, FOMC, 25 basis point hiked in. It looks like it probably is, right? Um, and Fed officials uh, signal divide over whether to hike rates again. And there's a bit of div bit of a divide again. It just this is probably just the, the lead up to almost like the um, the fanfare, you know, the uh, um, again, like I said, the build up to uh, to the to the data. They already kind of know what it is anyway. And New York Chief John Williams says uh, one more hike is reasonable. Uh, Chicago Fed's uh, Goolsby calls for prudence and patience. So you've got two kind of opposing views. Um, and it says the Federal Reserve official sounded divergent notes about the central bank's next policy move, um, with one of its top officials suggesting another rate increase may be needed to quell inflation and its newest policymaker signaling a pause may be in order. So it's given it a 50 50. But what do you really want to look at as well to kind of confirm that? And that is the uh, FedWatch tool, CME FedWatch tool. And um, it looks like you can see the probabilities. I mean, starting off on uh, May, we're in May, um, the no change is actually 28.5%, and a hike is actually priced in 70. Um, one point five percent. Let me just refresh this, just in case the numbers do change. Yeah, so it's uh, it's changed. So the hike is definitely being priced in, which means that if inflation comes in lower than expected, then the dollar is likely to um, to to probably uh, weaken and devalue, and there's definitely an opportunity there, right? But this is probably what you want to, uh, you know, look at look towards um, in terms of what the market is pricing in, and so, um, so yeah, I think it's. I think personally, it's already been priced in. I thought this was quite interesting as well. If you are a, um, if you're looking at the stock market, inflation data will shatter the stock market calm. Goldman partner warns. A veteran trader says data uh, at or below consensus to spur rally. If inflation top six percent, expect a drop of at least two percent. In S and P five hundred. So why are we looking at you know the stock market? It was really just, just really from um, somebody asked. I can't remember if it was. I think it might have been Mister Diligent or something like that who asked um, about the correlation between uh, you know interest rates and the stock market. And simply put, it's not one hundred percent you know correlated all the time. But it's important to know if you are looking at you know the stock market and trading the stock market, which um, I don't particularly do. But if you are um, then rate cuts are, um, are, are, are helpful and typically drive stocks because when you start to cut rates, then it's really cheap borrowing and lending, right? So traders will borrow money for cheaper because they can get money for cheaper and then they will put it into higher yielding assets. And so, you know, you might be thinking, okay, well, um, you know, what's inflation got to do with this? Well, if you've taken the, the, the short course and test, you'll understand that today's reading, yeah, will determine whether the Federal Reserve, as we've just spoken about, will high rates, um, are continue, going to continue to high rates maybe aggressively uh, or actually pause. And if they pause, then at what, the mar that, what that will signal to the market, in fact, will be that um, the Fed are likely to now start to enter into their cutting cycle a lot sooner yeah and so you might see actually a stock market rally if the fed or well, inflation yeah um comes out lower yeah and so you can see that reflected in fact in goldman sachs's uh goldman sachs provides cpi scenario for analysis and this is why it's really important to understand the relationship between inflation and interest rates and GDP, because then you can start to read these articles and make a lot more sense out of them, right? Because on, on the surface, you might think to yourself, well, what the hell is inflation got to do with the stock market going higher? But it's, yes, it's about inflation, but actually it's like a proxy for the central bank policy, which then, you know, inflation kind of dictates, right? And so a March CPI reading, which is going to be in what, 13 minutes, keeping an eye on it, right? So below, yeah, 4.6, the market reaction is, oh, sorry, 4.6, not, not, not 0.4. I'd put like a um, call. I think actually might, that might be the headline. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Anyways, um, so below 4.6, yeah, um, up at least uh, 2%, right? And that's because 
if you have a reading below 4.6, it means that inflation is coming down, which then means that the Fed, again, are less likely to hike. Yeah, in fact, they're going to pause. And so the market will then start to say, all right, then this might be the era of cheap money and we'll put some money into the stock market, correct? And if it's above, inflation goes above 6%, then, you know, the fear that the Federal Reserve has to hike rates a lot more aggressively, which means borrowing and lending costs go higher. So then the S&P reaction will be down. Does that, does that make, make sense, guys? Oh, let me mute John. Does that make sense, everyone? Uh, John says he can't hear. Okay. Um, well, it's recorded now, John. I think, can you hear me now? Because I think you've uh, logged in. You've logged into a new account. John, can you hear me? Well, everyone else can hear me, John, unfortunately. Oh, you can hear me now. All right, brilliant. Okay, cool. So you have to catch the rest of that um, uh, on the recording. So I thought that was interesting. Um, do, 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 do. And also as well, going back to priced in, right? So going back to what we talk about when it comes to priced in, yeah? This has already been, these scenarios, yeah? Have already been priced in to the average trader yeah who doesn't understand about what is being priced in we have up to at least two percent on the s p and down to at least two percent so there's an auction right there's a range if prices come out sorry if inflation comes out yeah and any of these scenarios you can see that the upper limit would be two percent from where we are now and the lower limit would be at least two percent from where we are now wherever that is but remember this is all going to be priced in eventually yeah if it sorry if it does happen right anyways uh us futures head higher before inflation data lands market wrap so that's basically talking about this so the futures market uh, basically you know is heading higher all right so everyone's expecting um, a hike or inflation to come in at least um you know, and be sticky uh, rather than actually falling. So, uh, yeah, the Fed um, will are likely to hike or at least signal that they are. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. But also as well, sorry, there was this. So this came out um, just before I uh, started the course. It's talking about, talking about North America construction outlook, banking woes trigger risk of hard landing. And that's another thing as well, by the way is that there are fears of a hard landing. Yeah, so their interest rate uh, environment was already weighing on the outlook for construction activity, but the recent stresses in the US and European banking sectors have added to fears that lenders will increasingly step back. The US looks especially vulnerable given the outsized role of small and regional banks. And so again, hard landing potentially uh, coming um, uh, for the economy, right? Which is the reason why when you look at some of the forecasts, yeah, if you go to the bank research, and this was from ING as well. If you look at the dollar, then if you can see that properly, but if you look at the dollar against pretty much, oh, was it the euro? Here we go, dollar, dollar sides. Um, you'll see that the dollar looks to weaken against pretty much most of the currencies. Yeah, so you can see over the next one to three months, at least the next six months, you see from 133 to 125, the uh, pound looks like it gets a bit weaker, but then in fact, you know, goes goes up back up to the 124s and even 128s within the next 12 months. Um, the dollar strengthens only against really the Swiss franc, which again, I can understand that. Um, yeah, dollar um, CAD, spot where we are now probably one month slightly higher but eventually starting to go down australian dollar us dollar 067 months time maybe down to 066 but then we see 68 and 70 yeah and then same thing with the new zealand dollar 62 at the moment staying around 62 64 66 so it looks like that is still being priced in in terms of the um, the uh, uh, the dollar uh, being weaker, right? 
Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, with that being said, yeah, I think that is going to be priced in. So, the yen. So, the yen um, surprise yield curve still on. So, um, my bias for the yen is...